Hey guys, hey look, how are you doing? This is the Queen Battle, and I am wishing all the candidates a very good, um, great uh, success today uh, for running for um, elections today. Today is the first day of the primaries in um, Boston as well as all over Massachusetts. So again, I'm wishing all the candidates successful. Um, great uh, praise and uh, good success as well as what, pretty much what they're doing um, running for office. So there's a couple of candidates here. Again, uh, my name is Queen Bible. I'm an assistant adult in pediatric first aid as well as a first aid responder. I do respond to issues, medical and public safety issues as well as even um, adults, children with special needs issues here in the city of Boston and here at Harvard University. So I'm really happy to be working with um, just being available for needs, anybody that in need arises. So again, there's a couple of candidates that are running for mayor here in the city of Boston. Um, I'm going to, I can't wait for mayor, let me see. So there's about five good, five good candidates. Thank you to my one listener. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, good. All right, so again, there's about five good candidates here that are running for um, office of mayor here in Boston. Um, there is, again, um, Boston Globe is out. Um, uh, let me see here. There is, um, of course, Mayor Interim Kim Janey, who is doing a pretty good job. Again, a lot of people support her. I have supported her in the past, and she's done all her efforts towards uh, COVID um, reform, COVID pandemic. That's pretty much as well as what she has done um, here in, um, with the city of Boston, a feeling fulfilling Marty Wash's place. And then there's also um, Michelle Wu. Michelle Wu is a great candidate. She has a lot of initiatives towards uh, improving the economy, as well as climate change, as well as just working with schools, school districts, and improving that. So I do support Michelle Wu and what she's done so far with COVID, as well as, of course, um, some of the issues with the Asian community. So I really do support Michelle Wu, as well as Kim Janey for mayor. As well as some other candidates, Andrea Campbell. Um, Andrea Campbell has been endorsed by the Boston Globe. So uh, I do wish um, Andrea Campbell great success. She was actually here and um, Harvard Square today um, had that petition, so that's great. Um, great to actually get involved and get out there and say, hey, you know, um, uh, she, you know, she is a mother too, and Andrea Campbell is very supportive of, as well as Andrea Campbell, Michelle Wu, and Kim Janey are very supportive of the Black Lives Matter movement, which has just got another endorsement by the office of the London office of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Um, Black Lives Matter has been a great movement, but there are some initiatives that I'm personally myself with Queen Battle um, does not support, but still at the same time, Black Lives Matter is a great, great, great organization, great community service organization that has done a lot of reforms and police reforms, justice against um, against uh, p police brutality, uh, crimes against the black community, murders by a police enforcement, or murders, just um, unsolved murders in the community, black as well as everybody. Black, has, black Lives Matter has done an ama amazing job over the past year, 10 years, and has garnered support from all over the world. So Black Lives Matter, is a great organization, especially here. It's really big here in Boston, as well as New York, Portland, Chicago, and um, Black Lives Matter is really big in Portland. But Black Lives Matter is big in New York, as well as in Seattle. So um, there's Black Lives Matter is great, great organization to work with, but still there are some initiatives that I really don't support, but at the same time, it's kind of you working with an organization. So they're about community change, community of change, work in the community and do pretty much what they can. At the same time though, even if you are a royal, if you even if you are in the public view, 
you have to take into heed supporting um, what you do support and what you don't support. So again, um, I'm just saying Black Lives Matter is still a great organization, but there's some things that you have to look into it a little bit further, okay? So it's great to get out there and support the initiatives that you're doing, but you still have to look into some things a little bit further. So they're really big here in Boston. Um, Anissa Asabi George is also running for office uh, for, for mayor, so she's done pretty much a great job. And then the last one here is, of course, John Bar Barros, who is the only male figure who's also uh, running for a mayor. He is a former economic development uh, department head of the city of Boston, so he's done an amazing, amazing job, John Barros. So, uh, Adria Campbell, um, Kim Jane and Michelle Wu were all on Boston City Council. So they have that amazing, amazing job. As well as Anissa Sabi George, who was also a former school teacher, business owner, and she was also a city councilor at large with all four candidates. Um, Michelle Wu, Andrea Campbell, Kim Janey, as well as Anissa Sabi George were all city councilors at large. A city council as large is pretty much, you have the regular city councilmen, as well as the individuals that are put at large Julie Mejia is also an at-large candidate too, an at-large counselor. They're put in charge of a bigger population set of the city. Boston, city, a city, a greater Boston has over one, two, three million inhabitants. So not including the Massachusetts, but inhabitants surrounding it. So the city as well as the suburbs. So um, we have city councils at large that pertain to bigger, large jurisdiction rather than their um, surrounding elected districts they have they're assigned bigger portions of zones that they work with as well as um people as well as constituents that they work with usually constituents can reach two or one or two councils at large if they have a problem instead of just going to a regular um, community leader they can reach one or two or even three councillors to see where they can get assistance at the most so of course julie mcgee is a council at large she's running for election here in Boston, as well as um, a couple other candidates that are also running for a city councilor, uh, councilor at large. Uh, let me look here, councilor at large. So, so far, who's running for a councilor, uh, Boston City Council here? Um, I'm looking right here from boston.com, article posted on September the 7th, 2021. Uh, you have um, Carla Monteiro. She's running for a uh, council at large. Athea Garrison. I met Miss Garrison. She's a really nice old lady. She's a little bit older, but she's also running for council at large. Bridget Newash, another wash. She's also running for council at large. Say Adekara. Ruthie Lugini. She's also running for council at large. I don't think she was running for mayor, but she's Ruthie is also running for council at large. Kaylee Bates, David Halbert, Julia Mejia, Roy Owens, Nick Vance. Michael Flattery, John Spillane, James Reginald, Reggie Collimon, Aaron Murphy, Donnie Palmer, Alexandra Gray, and Domingos De La Rosa. So Domingos De La Rosa is great. I met him when I was reaching, um, also uh, going to community events. So Domingo De La Rosa is also running for Council at Large, and we're the same age range. So I wish Domingo De La Rosa the best, as well as Julie Mejia, as well as Nick Vance. And as well as Miss Ruthie, she's okay. Miss Ruthie's okay, but she's very strong. Has been very strong opinionated here in the city of Boston. And of course, Miss Athea Garrison, who has been in politics for over 20, 30 years. She has been a community advocate, really nice person. But you have to be strict and strong, especially like I said before, dealing here with a city like Boston, Massachusetts. Okay. So I wish all these greater city council people at large a great, great, great day. Today is the primaries, the official, um, the beginning of the primaries, early voting starts today on Tuesday, September the 14th. So again, um, e official election day is not until November, but early voting begins today for all candidates as well. And then uh, for the city of, of Cambridge, um, the city of Cambridge voting starts today and it is, let me see here. Cambridge early voting begins today. 
And that also is, let me see here. There's some uh, also some other initiatives that Cameron is doing too, talking about the uh, cannabis election as well. Um, agenda, redistricting, voting on accepting cannabis, extending the policy favoring disenfranchised. Um, let me see here. see so municipal elections began uh, they started on Thursday the July the 1st for Cambridge Massachusetts so so far we do have our current mayor um, of Cambridge let me see her name Miss um, Sambu Sidiqui who I've met before She's a really nice lady. She's also running for re-election too uh, this year. So uh, Sumbu uh, Sudiki is also running for re-election as well. And then uh, let me see here. I don't know. Somerville, Somerville, Massachusetts is also running for um, elections too in Somerville. So there's a great, great opportunity. Quincy, Quincy, Massachusetts is also running for elections too as well. So good for Quincy. Quincy is also a part of, not that far from here, and um and uh, massachusetts as well so quincy is also running for elections going for elections so city council councilor large uh state rep um, as well as everybody else in quincy too so okay salem massachusetts salem is also going for our uh, re-elections too as well there's also Secretary of State. Um, governor elections start and end today, governor elections. But also, um, you can still vote in November, but early voting begins today. Uh, let me see. So most elections are mayoral, city council, city council at large, uh, community, uh, community advocates. Let me see, Somerville, Charlie Hyman, according to the WUR um, article posted on September the 12th. Um, Charlie Hyman is also running for a mayoral election in Somerville. Um, I'm just following some, th some, th some things here, here, of course, on um, front to all my followers and all my Facebook group friends, too. I have a lot of things to do, but I just want to let you guys know that I'm out there supporting all the initiatives that's going behind elections, elections going on today. I would love to be a part and involved on the streets, having out flyers, having out papers, and if there's too many involved, I can find a social media feed that, hey, you guys need help. LaQueen is more than welcome to. You can reach me on my phone number, 857-353-0173, and you can reach me and just get out there and get assistance as needed. So here it is according to WBUR. Somerville is also running for four-way race for mayor of Somerville between Joseph Coratoni and some other guys. Salem is also running for um, mayor elections between um, May Mayor Kim Driscoll, Fram Framingham Mayor Yvonne Spicer, Lynn, Massachusetts, uh, Thomas McGee, Medford, Brianna Lungong Kong, and Newton, Mayor Ruthane Fuller. So um, there's many elections all over Massachusetts. Now, um, New York, uh, New York elections also begin to, let me see as well. Okay, so of course, uh, Bill, Bill Blasio is not running for re-election this year on mayor, so sad to say, but um, he will be stepping down and this will be his last term in office, uh, Bill Blasio. So um, there are a couple of other candidates running for mayor of New York City. Uh, Eric Adams is the presumed Democratic candidate for mayor of New York City. And those elections, the general election begins on um, November the 2nd. Uh, primary started a couple months ago on June the 22nd in New York State. So fortunately, uh, Mayor Bill Blasio is not running for re-election for Mayor of New York State, New York City. So sorry to see Mayor Bill Blasio go, Bill Blasio Bill go, but he has done a wonderful job for the citizens of the state of New York. So it's very, very happy, as well as everything that he has done during the COVID pandemic, him and as well as the office of presumed Governor Andrew Cuomo, everything that they have done for the people in the state of New York. So again, I'm sorry that Bill Blasio is leaving, but he has an amazing job. 
Um, so um, according, to, okay, so um, the presumed Democratic candidate for New York City is Eric Adams against Republican candidate Curtis Silva, who is a Republican candidate. And then there's also elections going on in Seattle. They started on August the 3rd for primaries, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and Virginia. Virginia's uh, primary started um, in uh, June the 8th, which was a couple months ago. So um, a lot has happened. Um, right now there's a, a, a whole bunch of candidates for mayor of New York. I'll go ahead and get those. I am still a New York resident. So Eric Adams is a presumed Democratic, Democratic candidate for New York City. William Pepitone, Conservative Party. Quanda Francis, Empowerment Party. Raja Flores, Humanity United Party. Stacey Prussell, Libertarian. Skaboki Store, Out, Outlaw Breaker Party. Catherine Rojas, Socialism and Liber Liberation Party. Curtis Silva, Independent Party. Fernando Mateo, Save Our City Party. And Deborah Axe, Working Families Party, and these are all candidates for city uh, for mayor of the city of New York. Okay, so it's about 10, maybe 10, 12 candidates for the mayor of the city of New York. So, so far, who has a lead for uh, for the candidates is Eric Adams with a 50%, 50.4% lead. Catherine Garcia with a 49.6% lead. And Maya Willie, she's top number three for number three candidate with the lead for mayor of the city of New York. So, and then Andrew Yang. Andrew Yang is right now under four and five for um, mayor of the city of New York. And then Diane Morales, who she did an amazing job. Diane Morales, she's up top six, according to um, a ballot by Ballotpedia. Um, Sean Donovan is number 10. Um, Paperboy Prince is number 12, 13. Jocelyn Taylor is number 14. And Isaac Wright is right there bottom bottom 15, 16. So um, I do support Paperboy Prince and all that he has done of working in the community. So shout out to Paperboy Prince as well. Um, Diane Morales, she's a great community advocate. I wish her all the success that she has done during her, her campaign for mayor of the city of New York. Sean Donovan, Sean Donovan is a great, great uh, advocate too. Uh, we have Art Chain, who's also running for mayor of the city of New York. Aaron Faldenar, Jocelyn Taylor, as well as Scott Stringer. Scott Stringer, um, Mr. Scott Stringer is also running for mayor of the city of New York. So Andrew Yang is probably about top four right now, top four in candidates for the city of the mayor of New York. Primary elections began um, nationwide on November the 4th, November the 2nd for um, all um, primary elections, all the United States. So I wish all these candidates the best. New York here in New York, uh, New York and Boston. Again, polls close here in Boston, Massachusetts at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time today. This is Queen Battle. I wish you guys all the best. Thank you so much for your support and assistance. I'm here at Harvard University doing some work. I've got a whole list of things to do, but I'm still trying to remain focused and pretty much content of what I need to do, work in the community. You get feedback from everybody this, you get feedback from this, you get feedback with this. Still, I would encourage you guys to go out there and, and vote. Right now, the registration deadline has passed, but you can still um, still talk to your whoever is your representative in your community district to see if you can still register to vote by November 2nd primaries, okay? So let me see here. Okay, so you can still apply for an absentee ballot here in the city of Boston. And then um, to register to vote, you can go to mass.gov, okay, right here. The uh, Secretary of State, uh, William Francis Galvin, goes to the mass.gov website, M-A-S-S-I-G-O-V, this website right here. And you can check right here, it says register to vote, pre-register. And the deadline to register to vote in Massachusetts, I think, has passed, but let me see here. Okay. So you can still, you can actually register to vote online, which is actually pretty cool. This is a new thing. So you go to secretary.state.ma.us. Okay. What is this deadline here? I'm looking right here.
Okay, so deadline to register to vote is 20 days before election day. So election day is on November the 2nd. You have 20 days before election day to, cast, to, to register to vote. To register by mail deadline, it must be postmarked 20 days before the election day on November the 2nd. And then to in-person registration to vote is 20 days before election day. So online, you can actually register, um, you can do register to vote online, okay, through the secretary.ma.us deadline. It's 20 days before election day. You can register by mail deadline. It must be postmarked 20 days before election day. You can also um, register in person at Boston City Hall, as well as whatever city hall is within your jurisdiction area. 20 days before election day on November the 2nd, okay? All right, so this is the Queen Battle, Battle First Aid Responder Services. Very happy to be here today. It's Tuesday. Uh, today is, excuse me here. Today is Tuesday, September the 14th here. I'm at Cambridge, Cambridge, Massachusetts in Harvard University. Very happy to be here and continue to support all the initiatives behind what we're doing. Very happy to have worked here during doing COVID work as a COVID tester working here helping out the Harvard University students as well as working in the community and uh, helping advocate for public awareness of the COVID pandemic. Unfortunately, the pandemic is not yet over, but we still have a lot to do to continue to support our community and all the efforts that we have left, okay? So this is Laquine Battle, Battle First Aid Responder Services. Very happy to be here with you guys today. It is a wonderful day here in Cambridge, Massachusetts, as well as all over the state at Massachusetts. Wish you guys the best and hopefully you get out there and vote. If you can't vote today on Tuesday, September the 14th, please still register to vote. You have until 20 days before the register to vote deadline of November the 2nd. Okay, so today begins early voting in the city of Boston as well as all over the state of Massachusetts. Okay, again, you have 20 days before the deadline, okay, of November the 2nd to register to vote. Okay, to register to vote. So this is the Queen Battle. You can reach me at battlefirstaid at icloud.com, B-A-T-T-L-E, number one, S-T-A-I-D at icloud.com. Okay, and, and you can also register to vote at secretary.ma.us, uh, mass.gov. You also reach more information for voting at mass.gov, that's M-A-S-S dot G-O-V. Okay, all right, guys, I wish you all the best, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.